Hey YouTube, Mark with Ultimate RC. Um, you're going to do my first, um, maybe, um, pseudo unboxing. I'm not going to go through all this, um, um, but wanted to show you, uh, hopefully, a plane that I will be getting up on the channel very soon. Well, hopefully when you're seeing this, uh, maybe it's at the end of the Maiden video or, or something of that sort. Um, got this right away the day it was uh, released by FMS um, but because I live in Wisconsin <laughs> the weather has not been cooperative on the weeks or I should say the weeks the days where I can fly which I've been resort um, relegated to the weekends because of uh, daylight savings time but yeah I've got the the FMS um, 80 millimeter F86 Sabre um, and I did get the Sky Blazers um, uh, livery um, so we'll take a look at this and uh, I was pretty amazed like I've seen some other comments about the size of the box for this uh, when I first got it I like well what is that I I didn't order an RC car because um, this isn't much bigger than like what if you're <clears throat> like a 110 scale RC car would come in uh, something of that sort um, I think this is about the same size box as my uh, hammer ray uh, which I've not had on the channel yet I hope to have on the channel um, we just haven't had any really reason to, for me to run them I run those in the snow we haven't gotten any it's been high 30s 40s um, probably not going to have a white Christmas which is a bummer um, so but any rate I'm going to get this open I uh, won't bore you with that process, although I think maybe I just figured it out. We'll pull this out. Take a look at it. Um, the big thing I think I might do a, some video on is I plan on setting mine up differently than what most people I've seen so far on YouTube have done in, in uh, two facets. Uh, number one... Um, my receiver will have ACE, AS3X and safe. Um, but number two, I got an 80, I think it's an 8360T spectrum receiver. So I have eight channels. Um, I am going to split up the air brakes and the flaps. Um, um from what I've seen, the air brakes are best used on the ground. And um, I, I really don't want to mix them in with flaps. I certainly don't want to have them on on takeoff. And as opposed to trying to come up with a complex mix um, to use them strictly on your landing flaps, um, I'm going to split them into a separate channel, which I think is probably the best thing to do. That gives you the most flexibility with your landing uh, conditions um, once you get a hang of this aircraft and how it's going to land the speeds that sort of thing um, I think I've seen a few videos already of some popular youtubers um, not doing well with landing full flaps and air brakes out um, uh, probably by the time you posted this or I've posted this you're probably going to know what video I'm talking about but I'm sure that they are not the only persons that will experience that if you set it up on a 6s channel or, or 6s I'm sorry six six channel receiver so in any event um, I'm going to get this all unboxed there's plenty of unboxing videos out there um, so you guys probably don't need to see all that um, but when I do get it um, assembled, or if there's anything during assembly I think maybe is worth videotaping, uh, I, I will. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case from what I've seen. Um, but um, what I, again, what I haven't seen is anybody setting up a 
an eight channel transmitter with this. Um, so we'll see what, um, I think this is gonna be pretty straightforward to set it up, so I shouldn't run into any problems, but either way, I think I'm gonna document that um, so people can see how that's done. Um, and then the other trial by fire, of course, is gonna be uh, setting up the gains for this. So that's gonna be, I'll probably go with what's out of the box on the, on the receiver. And I'm sure I'll need to make adjustments with that as I um, get some flights uh, on it. So, uh, you know, hopefully I can continue to post that information uh, going forward. Um, as I fly this aircraft, this is supposed to be the F-86. This is my first. I've never had one before. Uh, I've come close several times to getting the 64 millimeter version from um, a Hobby Zone. Um, I still may do that because um, I've got a receiver already bought for it and everything else. But then this came out, uh, and this is kind of one of those. Yeah, if you're into jets, how can you not have this plane? Um, so we'll get this all um, unboxed. I'll start setting it up, uh, and then um, we'll give you some updated videos on this. And uh, uh, once again, uh, YouTube, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Mark with Ultimate RC. Hey YouTube, uh, one uh, quick note about um, unpacking this. So I got to the bottom, unloaded everything, um, started setting up the fuselage in the next room uh, um, where I do all, where, all my work. And it's like, where is the screws? Um, spent a couple minutes looking for them until I realized and they're not easy to see. They're right there. I gotta take this cotton piece off. And they're down here. Um, along with, looks like a quality check. So, just be aware of that. I think maybe somebody, um, this has probably been mentioned in others, I'm not sure, uh, other videos about this, but um, just wanted to show that because obviously, Lots of stuff in here. Um, all the control arms are, of course, you've got to put on um, in the screws for the um, for the for the wings, which I'm about ready to put on. Um, hard to do without this bag, so don't throw all your packing stuff out before you um, get this out of there. So, um, and then I'm going to show you one other thing here in regards to the setup on this. Um, that I, I think is helpful to know. All right, YouTube. So the other thing I wanted to show you is when you get the fuselage, um, this elastic band, it's not a rubber band, but it's elastic, uh, wraps around um, your connectors for the wings like, like, like this, I believe, or either way to hold your uh, gear doors in. Um, don't take that off. Leave that on. Put your um, your uh, your your pole or your um, your tube, your wing support tube, in through the fuselage. Put your wings on. Get them real close, and then um, take this off. It will keep these doors closed, and it'll make it. It'll be a lot easier for you to just put those wings right together. Otherwise, you got to hold these doors shut and push the wings in at the same time. I think I've seen other people do that on setup, and so. Um, wasn't sure at the time when they were doing it, what they were talking about, but now that I see it up, up close, uh, it, you know, just, just know that, um, going into it. So I'm going to continue, um, setting this up here. I'm going to put, uh, six screws here that hold this all into place. All the screws are the same size, which is nice. We see more and more models these days that, um, have only have one size screw, um, which makes setup a lot easier because back in the day I know assembling some of my first models where I put the wrong size screw uh, in the wrong location caused problems of course it may have said something in the in the manual now some manuals are much better than others horizons are probably some of the best um, but uh, yeah that 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 can cause a lot of problems and so uh, nice that they're getting away um, fr from that. Um, 
so far from what I've seen from this, um, this is a pretty nice um, build here by FMS. Um, and I'm pretty, pretty happy that I got it right away. I'm kind of bummed that I've not had any chance to um, fly it, which is kind of why I haven't put this together right away. I, I got this right when it released. It probably came about a week later. Um, and it's been sitting here in the basement waiting for me to assemble ever since. Um, and I haven't been in a rush because uh, it, it's just difficult to fly this time of year uh, in this state. Not a fan. So I'm going to keep building this. I'm not going to bore you with everything on this. Uh, if I do run into anything else um, that I see um that i sh that maybe would be uh something to note i don't expect it but if i do I'll, I'll i'll record that as well and then again once i got this assembled uh, and i'm putting my um my receiver in i'm going to cover a little bit of that because i'm going to do the eight channel so uh, stay tuned mark with ultimate rc hey youtube mark with ultimate rc i uh, just wanted to show the complete uh f86 saber so i've got it all set up uh Everything's programmed. The gear on this are awesome, especially the front nose. Um, that was just a really cool plane. Love it. A bummer this got released at the time of year that it did. The tires are pretty nice too. Kind of a little on the stiff side, but there is some give to it. But the shocks on this are are. Uh, really nice oleo shocks uh, with the trailing link so um uh don't imagine that that's going to be any sort of issue with this plane um from what i understand uh f-86s are supposed to be decent flying planes and so um hoping to get this up uh christmas weekend here uh weather forecast is for unusually warm weather uh, here in the state um not going to be a white Christmas, that's for sure. But just kind of want to show, uh, want to show what how I've got this set up. So again, I've got an AR at 3060 uh, T, and so I've got that into my IX14. Um, I do have telemetry, um, including uh, pack voltage, which will be nice. Um, more importantly, I do have. I also have that set up um, uh, on a switch as well. Um, I think I've already made the comment once that I'm not about to fly a $500 plane without um, mode. without those. Um, I've just not come that far in this uh, hobby yet to, to safely be doing that, and I don't have 500 bucks. I just want to throw away on a whim. Uh, not to mention this is an awesome-looking plane. I want to keep it in one piece as long as I possibly can. Um, but the setup on this was pretty easy. Um, you know, as far as model setups on a, on an IX-14, I'm really starting to like this transmitter. Uh, you can go in here and set your, um, all the things that you'd have to do, trim setup, channel assign, um, swap some of the, the, the channels. I think I had to reverse was the gear to get it to where I like to have it up and down. Um, and I also had to reverse the aileron, so um, you can do that in here. And then, of course, um, model adjust. The forward programming made it really easy um, to do uh, the safe setup. So it's all in there. You go through it. Um, didn't think about uh, showing it at the time. Uh, maybe I will on some future model um, when I'm doing a setup here on the IX-14 to go through that and and show some of those things going forward on this transmitter. Um, I've seen some people do it out there. There's not a lot out of it out there. So uh, maybe something that I'll incorporate into future builds. Um, but just kind of wanted to show this a little bit. And uh, and uh, hope that this is... Uh, we're going to have the weather that I can actually fly this thing um, here in the near future. And don't have to wait a long time to, to get some good video on the channel. Now I don't know... Um, supposed to be pretty cloudy this weekend so we'll see how this shows up but with all the color this plane has um, I don't think that's going to be too big of a problem uh, but 
but but we'll see um so yeah just uh wanted to get this uh on and uh if nothing else uh the christmas weekend is fast approaching if i don't get any flights in and posted we'll probably do our flying on saturday i'll try to get something up um if i can right away uh, but want to wish uh, everybody on the channel uh, happy holidays and a merry christmas um to anybody that has supported me in the past uh, whether it be with your viewership or subscribing to the channel or, or just coming to, to watch or appreciate it um uh, again um uh, any support you can give is is great and uh, great to be able to share this hobby so uh like and subscribe hit the bell do all the things you need to do uh, to let youtube know that this is the type of content you want to see thanks for watching mark from ultimate rc hey youtube sorry one thing i forgot to uh I wanted to show, of course, the big reason I went to the 8 channel was to break up um, the flaps, which flaps. I put on D, uh, and the air brakes, which I have set uh, on my C-switch for now. I think I'll probably keep that there. Um, but I think it's pretty critical for this plane to do that. Um, certainly, you don't want to have your air brakes on on takeoff and mixed in with your takeoff flaps um you know so i've got that uh, split out pretty easy to do the there's a y harness that comes in here uh labeled as flaps uh the two lines that go out of that y harness are not labeled so it's kind of a by guess and by gosh um, you got a 50 percent chance of getting it right uh, but then i ran that so it turned out to be i believe that's the back wires that go uh, that you're going to want to put. I've got that in my channel 8 here. Um, and so that controls those can, that controls my uh, air brakes. And I, at this point, don't plan on using them uh, other than on the ground for stopping. Um, I, I don't really see the need to be using them in the air to slow the plane down. That's what flaps are for. Um, you know, I, I think uh, um, you're asking... Um, for some scenarios that uh, if you're deploying both you, you may slow this plane down too much and um, again per one popular channel that did a six channel setup on this uh, they had a pretty sketchy landing with this plane because of that I think so uh, but at any rate YouTube again thanks again for watching like and subscribe hit the bell um, and again appreciate your support and uh, happy holidays to everyone Mark with Ultimate RC